Hey guys, welcome to Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas. Here comes another video that some of you might find it helpful. If you are a backcountry enthusiast or you're heading out on long motorcycle adventures or simply like hiking or camping, this is some great ideas that uh, you might find interesting and worthwhile looking at. So who doesn't like a cup of coffee first in the morning when you wake up and crawl out of bed or tent in the morning or to have a nice breakfast such as bacon and eggs? I definitely do, especially if you are off grid and far away from civilization or restaurants. This is a great idea to prepare your meals. When I'm heading out uh, on my adventures, I usually have uh, food available for like at least uh, three days. Uh, this way, if I'm away, away from anything to purchase, uh, I have my food and I can prepare it on the road. And when I'm heading out, uh, especially during pandemic right now, where the restaurants are closed and even if they are open, uh, the wait times could be longer because uh, there's a limited uh, number of people that they can accommodate uh, during this, this times. Uh, it's a good idea to be able to prepare your own meals. And in this video, I'd like to talk about two different lightweight camping cooking stoves. We'll start with this guy right here. I don't have any more packaging that, was, that this unit came in. Uh, this is a complete set. Uh, everything that came in here except for the except for the can opener that uh, i've added in this set i will talk about this unit first and then i will talk about the second stove that i purchased after and i i tell you why i got that second stove as well i'll put the whisper light aside and we'll go over the first unit here units are made by MSR and both are built with exceptional quality and they're lightweight and they pack small so it doesn't take much room in your luggage. So this, this first uh, camping stove is a cooking set by MSR. It's called Pocket Rocket Ultra Backpacking Stove Kit. The MSR Pocket Rocket Backpacking Stove includes everything that you need for two people to prepare the meals uh, on, a, on a road. And we'll start with opening the, the contents here. So to start, it has a two liter anodized aluminum pot with heat proof handle. And then, so this looks like this. And then what you have in here, there's two separate bowls and two cups and they are come in different colors i think you can also find them not only blue and that fluorescent green or whatever that is but you can also find them in different colors if i'm correct those cups are 12 and a half ounce and double wall insulated so inside the cups you will find additional components so you have two two sporks look like this and the second one in the same color as your bowl and the mag and they have a closing lid with the sipping hole so it keeps your coffee on a cool morning or tea whatever you're drinking uh, nice and warm and then the second cup has the actual stove inside and a little rag that it came with never used <laughs> well the rag is never used but the rest is so and there's the second cup and inside the cup i have it all wrapped up uh, the actual burner for your propane it looks like this and then it unfolds and this one here it requires any of those uh, gases you can get uh, bigger bottles or small bottles of gas 
simply attach it. It's a very quick setup, as you see. I'll put those aside here. So you unfold those wings and it's good to go pretty much at this point. Boom, we got the fire. Nice and quick, doesn't take long and you can start cooking. Of course, it's empty. I'm not gonna put it on here right now. So as you see, this is a perfect set. I also added one of those little can openers. If I'm not close to my multi-tool knife, this is always handy inside here, so I don't have to uh, look for anything to open the can of stew or whatever you bring with you. I usually carry a lighter in here as well, so this way you don't look in your luggage where to find a lighter, just put, there's enough room to put all that together. So that whole kit, MSR Pocket Rocket uh, canister stove, it weighs only 25.8 ounces or 732 grams. So it's way under a kilogram. So it's not heavy. They claim, I never actually tested, but uh, they're claiming that it boils in one liter of water in three and a half minutes. Uh, and actually it is pretty quick, but I never timed it. Like who's got the need for that? Um, so if you're hungry, and you don't have to wait long to prepare instant noodles, for example. Three and a half minutes, or even if it's four minutes, it's not a big deal. The whole set is BPA free, so it does have any, doesn't have any chemicals. So that includes your bowls and mugs, anything that you're placing the food, you don't have to worry about nothing. It's uh, well tested, and uh, this unit has a pretty good reputation and a very good reviews. I have been using this unit uh, probably now uh, three years, as, as I mentioned earlier, that was my first purchase. And then I went into that second one that I, was, that I will talk about in a second, but I still carry all this one here as well with me, even, um, even though I'm not using this, but this is always there as a backup. It's, uh, it's not big, it's uh, super small, so it doesn't, I'm, I don't have to worry that it, uh, this thing takes much room. And this is the second set. Uh, so this one here, it's just the stove, but this one here, it's a hybrid fuel stove. It's a all, ultimate hybrid uh, backpacking uh, stove uh, by MSR, and it's a, they call it a whisper light universal stove. And this one here is actually using a propane, isopropyl or liquid fuel such as gasoline, which would be the same gasoline as you're pouring in your motorcycle, or you can use even a kerosene. Any white fuel that burns, uh, you can use that. Pocket Rocket, it's an awesome unit, but I switched to this one here for a purpose of being able to use different fuel because with this one here, when you run out and you don't have a spare tank, you're not cooking. And uh, with the gas, you, you can just switch the nozzles on the stove and you are on your way to for another meal. The hybrid fuel Whisper Light Universal Stove delivers the ease and simmering capabilities of canister fuel and switches easily over to liquid fuels for longer trips and a cold weather. So it also can be used in international travel. And uh, this technology makes it unique and delivering outstanding performance with all compatible fuels. It is also one of the lightest stoves in its class. Uh, it's offering stability easy and it's very easy to maintain and it's adding the reasons this could be the only stove that you will ever need so i will go through the content what comes in here so this is the original packaging that i did show it uh, briefly before and uh, everything came in that box i managed to keep that box but uh, the other the other stuff is gone from the previous uh, unit so inside this bag right here you'll find all the necessary stuff and the stove itself but before i put it together i will show you it has a little pocket on the side and inside this pocket you'll find the spare parts 
and um, the o-ring grease and the different jet nozzles for because you gotta change the nozzle and there's a little tool if you are using the gasoline versus the propane so you have to change the nozzle right now the nozzle is on a stove is set for propane but if i run out of propane it's super easy to pop the uh, new nozzle and you're good to go on a gasoline so it comes with a nice little storing pouch and then your instructions manuals which is pretty standard for everything and this is your stove and it unfolds quite easily as well similar to the other one the other one just folds from the top and this one here has a little bit bigger diameter so you can if you have a bigger dishes or cooking pots you can put them as well and they won't be as wobbly as the one the, the previous stove and to put this unit together it's very simple uh, basically it's the same idea I just attach the in this case it's butane I should say um, and so there's uh, there's one benefit uh, even if you are using a butane on this stove especially when you are in a colder weather because normally when the propane tanks or butane tanks six flat uh, standing on its uh, base it doesn't have a really good performance but they thought about it and they designed that little uh, bracket or holder that you clip on the stove and you can flip it upside down so now you have more pressure going down into the line and you got a warmer uh, warmer burning flame out of there and the control for this stove right here is located right here on the side so it's the previous one the control is right under the base of the stove and this one here is actually much nicer because when you have your cooking pot right here you can control on the side being away from the flame so they both don't have the self igniters uh, i've seen some of the stoves uh, that are actually quite pricey and they do have a cool, uh, igniter built in but this one here lights up just as normal with your lighter or a match whatever you have i'll put this one aside and i will show you how to convert that to liquid fuel you just gotta make sure the gas is closed unscrew it from here and this bag i've added because it didn't come in any bag but i carried the pump actually in a nice bag so you don't have any dirt uh, plugging in your um, intake for the fuel and at the end here it has a like little filter so this unit out of the box it does not come with the fuel bottle you have to purchase them separately and i went with two different sizes so this one here is a 20 ounce uh, which is 591 milliliters and then there is the second one or there's actually three different sizes that they sell on their website or if you can order in a camping store and then the other side too i have the biggest one which is uh, 30 ounces it's 887 milliliters or 0.887 liter however you want to go about it uh, keep in mind the fuel can be also used uh, to start a campfire which is pretty handy or even if you run your motorcycle very low you can still have some extra spare fuel with this so i will not do the full demonstrations of how to use it and change the nozzles because there is videos on youtube or right even right on the msr website uh, you can log in and you can check it but i will add the links to both of those units so you can check it out and if you are interested uh, those will be the affiliated links um, it will not cost you any more if you decided to go through Amazon they pay me a little bit uh, if you will purchase uh, through those links and I will always appreciate that so anyway so you basically undo the cap and you don't have to have the cap on the bottle even when you're riding 
Keep in mind, I already did the research on that and uh, I contacted the camping store and they told me uh, you can have the pump mounted on a bottle at all the times and uh, it will not leak, it should be fine. So basically here you just attach the, the pump, you, you will take the screw here to remove the base for the propane and you attach it into this uh, pump and you will pump it and put it on its side and uh, it will be ready to go with this kind of fuel instead of uh, using butane. This is the pump and uh, before you use it, you will pump it a few times uh, to build up the pressure in a bottle and then you just set it aside and uh, you will not know. So this is a better option as well if you are again in a colder climate because that fuel will burn better because it's not, it's a little bit different than that stuff, but um, this is proven that it will work much better. It's a bit tricky to take the pump out of there. You have to turn it on the right angle. I wish to be able to do this video outside. Unfortunately, with the weather that we are experiencing right now in Canada, it's almost impossible. Uh, the temperatures are very low. They're sitting at minus 30 and below. So it is uh, very crappy weather and as much as I love to do those videos for you outside somewhere in a, on a stop uh, on, a, on a way, um, that's almost not possible. Uh, this is way too cold as much as, cr as crazy as I am to ride in the cold uh, weather, but uh, that is a bit too much. So there's one more thing that I forgot to show you with this unit, but it's uh, quite important to cover this. So it comes with the uh, aluminum tin and that's pretty thick. So there is two different pieces with that, uh, which uh, one of them is your base that prevents the heat from burning anything that's uh, the stand that the stove is standing on so you place the uh, the stove uh, you should be placing the stove if it's not on the like on the even ground uh, on this little heat displacement uh, foil and then you got the second foil which is folded nicely together and this one here it helps you retaining the heat when you're cooking and it's not only to retain the heat but there was a lot of times when there was a pretty strong wind and you simply put this around and uh, you have no worry that uh, the flame will get burned so they thought about everything when they uh, designed that stove i really really recommend uh, this unit over the other one the, the only thing is good with the other one that it comes with all the pots uh, and everything that you need and it is quite small and light but you can still get very similar pots from MSR um, in your camp in local probably camping store or Amazon has a uh, lot of that stuff. I will put the links for all that and thank you for watching and if you found this video helpful give me a like and if you didn't hit the dislike button twice if you are visiting here for the first time and you like what you see, please subscribe. Uh, that always means a lot. And please visit my other playlists uh, for how-to videos and my motorcycle adventures and vlogs. If you have any questions, you can always drop down the comment below and I always try to answer all of them. I will be making a next video a little bit related to travel equipment uh, that I'm using. Uh, I have two videos actually coming up uh, in the near future. So one will be the AeroPress coffee maker. It's another great purchase and it's small. It packs small, it's light. Uh, I will show you that in the next video. And then I will be making a video um, if you are carrying a lot of gear to, that needs the battery and you are off grid uh, to charge all your uh, let's say camera gear or your comm system or anything like that about a couple different power banks uh, that i'm using on my uh, trips thank you for watching this video peace out until next time